in the word of god hallelujah the word of god as you are seeing in my background what jesus is christ is doing and his disciples jesus and his disciples are in a boat <coughs> suddenly there is a huge storm huge big waves are roaring winds heavy winds oh mighty winds are blowing and their boats are just moving around about to sink the disciples are afraid what to do what to do the controller of the storm the controller of the winds and the waves came and he said peace 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 be still be still be still and the winds and the waves obeyed and it became very very quiet why because jesus christ is the almighty all powerful creator of the waves of the sea of the winds he controls the storm you might be in tremendous pressure it might be looking oh in my family life i am facing the pressure like a pressure cooker in your job your boss your colleagues may be torturing you tormenting you criticizing you always finding fault 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 abusing you oh rebuking you remember the controller the controller oh of all the kind of pressure is with you hallelujah yes you might be feeling in my office in my ministry i am with a opposer with the naysayers with the critics they are oppressing me they are abusing me i am in a really great great mental pressure tension like a pressure cooker your blood pressure may be very high 180 200 it's not being controlled you are always worried jesus 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 will control will calm it will calm it take it take it take it take this promise he is controlling as i am speaking it's not my word it's the words of jesus the controller the controller of the storm oh of the winds and the waves he's controlling he's controlling oh there is no problem too big which god cannot solve he calm the mighty ocean he calm the mighty sea the winds and the waves obey him he will they will obey they will obey because jesus is the mighty creator hallelujah he is the mighty one he is the mighty one he is the mighty one remember you might be in a very very high pressure temperature temperature situation but no always know this always remember this my beloved brothers and sisters who controls who controls the thermostat who controls the thermostat jesus christ the first and the last the beginning and the end the alpha and the omega the one who is the one who was the one who is to come hallelujah the bright and the morning star oh the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world oh the lamb of god slain from the foundation of the world oh the lion of the tribe of judah the light of the world the lily of the valley the lord of glory the lord of hosts the lord of all lords the way the truth and the life the one hallelujah who is the door the one who is the bread of life who is the living water hallelujah wonderful counselor mighty god prince of peace everlasting father he is with you he will calm every storm every mental pressure your 
pressure in the office, in your family, some might be troubling you, torturing you, tormenting you every day. They are a nuisance. They are a, oh, uh, thorn in your flesh. Jesus, Jesus will calm them. Jesus Christ will control them. Hallelujah. Because he loves you. Jesus loves you deeply and dearly. You are precious. You are beloved of his do you know, my brothers and sisters, why in this world Jesus came? One of the reasons it is mentioned, if you read Luke chapter 12, verse 49, why Jesus came in this world? Who is Jesus? Jesus is none other than God manifested in flesh. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 says, God manifested in flesh. Yes, Jesus Christ is God manifested in flesh, lived among us. And why he came in this world? Luke chapter 12 verse 49 says, I came to send fire on the earth. He came to send fire on the earth. And how I wish it were already kindled. He came to send fire, fire, fire. Take the fire, fire of the Holy Ghost. Take the power of the Pentecost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yes, uh, baptism of fire, fire, fire will fill you, fill your hearts, your bodies, your minds. Yes, 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 take it. Fire, 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 fire fall on me. Fire, 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 fire fall on me. On the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. On the day of Pentecost. Power fell on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fell on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fell on me. On the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. Hallelujah. Yes. The fire will cleanse you, will purify you from all your impurities, imperfections, in iniquities, infirmities. He will, he will purify you. The fire, the cleansing fire. Oh, yes, 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 the burning fire. Every iniquity, every infirmity, every impurity, every imperfection in your life, in your body will be burned, burned by the Holy Spirit uh, because uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 20, uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29 says, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29 for our God is a consuming fire. Fire. Our God is a consuming fire. Remember always this. Our God is consuming fire. He will burn your enemies. Whoever is attacking you. Whoever is abusing you. You are his child. Your job is to forgive your trespassers. Those who have wronged you. Those who have abused you. Those who have exploited you, those who have betrayed you, you, you just forgive because vagonance belongs to the Lord. Vagonance belongs to the Lord and he will repay them. He will balance your book. He will balance your book. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12 verse 9. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 30 says, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 30 is a God of justice. He will recompense every loss, every injustice, every exploitation. Yes, he's a fighter. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. He will fight for your rights. He will fight for what belong to you. Some might, somebody might have taken away. They might have snatched or stolen from you. But uh, you know your God. Who? How is he? Your protector, your defender, he will defend uh, oh, your prestige, uh, your reputation. Your reputation is in the hands of Jesus. He will defend you. He will protect you. He will preserve you. How is our God, our fire fighter? Exodus chapter 14 verse 14 says, stand still for the Lord will fight for you. And how he fights? Beautiful, wonderful verse. Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 11. Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 11. Beautiful, 
powerful, wonderful word of God. It says, but the Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble. Your persecutors will stumble and they shall not prevail. Yes. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you will condemn them. Because he has promised in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17, no weapon, no weapon formed against will prosper. Yes, there will be, the weapons will be formed. No problem. It will not prosper. Because... The Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble. Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 11. Further it says, And they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed. Yes. You might have passed through shameful situation. Very distressing, disturbing, disheartening, disappointing situation. My brother, my sister, take heart, take courage, be encouraged, don't be discouraged, don't give up. Because those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like wings like an eagle. Yes, those who wait upon the Lord, they shall not be ashamed. Oh, they will be strengthened. Oh, Hallelujah. Psalms 34 verse 5 says, uh, Oh, those who looked unto Jesus uh, were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. Yes, Psalms 34 verse 5. Uh, those who looked unto Jesus, uh, unto the Lord Jesus, they were, uh, oh, no, not uh, ashamed. They were uh, lightened. Uh, yes, uh, because, why? Because Jesus Christ is the light of the world. John chapter 8 verse 12 says, Whoever, I am the light of the world, Jesus said, and whoever follows me shall not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. As you are hearing, you are walking in the light. Walking in the light. Walking in the light. Walking in the light. Oh, following the light of the world, Jesus Christ, your Redeemer, your Savior, your Lover, your Creator, your Maker, your Manufacturer, he loves you. He will grant the desires of your heart. Uh, Psalms 37 verse 4 says, uh, Oh, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desire of your heart. Uh, Proverbs chapter 10 verse 24 says, The desire of the righteous will be granted. Uh, yes, your desire for permanent residence will be granted. Uh, hallelujah. Your desire for healing, your desire for the ministry expansion will be granted. Uh, Psalms 145 verse 19 says, He will fulfill the desire of those who fear Him. As you are fearing the Lord Jesus, He will fulfill your desires. Whatever desire for your house, for your own house. Maybe you are living on rent all these years. You want your own house but you don't have finances. Or you might be having health issues. You want healing. He will fulfill the desire. Maybe you want a good job, you want a permanent residency, you want a visa, you want to migrate, you want to do ministry, you want to start some orphanage or widow project or some new ministry in the TV or the new musical instruments you want to buy or you want a job, good job or you want a promotion, whatever. Or maybe you want a peace in your house family. You want uh, your children to be blessed, to shine in this dark world. Your desire, the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Take it, take it, take it, take it from the promise keeper, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the promise keeping God. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, Joel chapter 2 verse 26 and 27 says, my people will never be ashamed. Will never be ashamed. You might have gone through shameful, <laughs> disturbing situation, depressing, discouraging situation. Take heart. Take courage, my brother. Take courage, my sister. Don't get discouraged. Take heart. Be encouraged. 
Jesus has promised, my people shall never be ashamed. You will never be ashamed. Joel chapter 2 verse 26 and 27. And as we were reading Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 11. The Lord is with me as a mighty terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. Your tormentors, your torturers, your troublemakers, trouble givers. Remember, their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. They will be confused amidst themselves. Amidst themselves, they will be confused. They will fight with each other. And when they try to attack you, don't worry. Your fighter, your defender, Jesus is with you. And he will protect your reputation in Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles, you can read. Chapter 20, what happened when God-fearing king Jehoshaphath was attacked by the powerful, mighty couple, number of armies, big, big, powerful countries around him, the kings, powerful Jesus made them, God Almighty made them to fight with each other. And Josaphat, hallelujah, won. Hallelujah. Yes, the battle belongs to the Lord. Remember always, your battle, whatever battle you are in, health battle, financial bless, uh, battle, mental battle, or wicked, uh, evil, crooked people, are troubling you, torturing you, creating problems after problems. Your battle is not yours. Battle belongs to the Lord. And who is the Lord? Who is mighty in battle? Psalms 24 says, The Lord is mighty in battle. The Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts. The Lord, the Lord of all lords. The Lord mighty in battle. He will fight you. Battle, my beloved brothers and sisters. He will purge every impurities, every imperfection from your life. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 4 says, The spirit of burning will come. Come upon your life. Maybe you are short-tempered. You get angry very often, very easily, very early. You lose your temper when cruel, wicked people just uh, oh pinpoint you or tease you. Or mock at you, you become so hurtful. Uh, oh, you become angry. You become short-tempered. Uh, oh, anger is one uh, word short of danger. Always remember, in Proverbs, I don't have time. In You can read in Proverbs. Do you know, in Proverbs, there are 31 chapters, isn't it? 31 chapters. And in a month, there are 30, 31 days, isn't it? God wants you to read one Proverbs every day, you will get wisdom, knowledge, understanding how to deal with the wicked, crooked, oh, people who are deceiving, unfaithful, ungrateful people. How to deal with them? Read every day one chapter of Proverbs. You will get wisdom, knowledge and understanding. The spirit of burning will burn every Informity, every iniquities. Yes, 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 yes. Maybe some addictions. You are, uh, oh, uh, you are uh, eating more uh, vegetable, your dessert, uh, ice cream, chocolates. Uh, you are uh, not uh, being able to overcome your uh, gluttony habit. You are uh, uh, glutton. You are eating more than required, more sweets. Your blood sugar is very high. Doctor is uh, advising you, don't eat ice cream, don't eat sugar, don't eat chocolate, sweets, or the spicy food, the uh, non-veg food, but you are not able to control your appetite. Your carving, your food carving is not being controlled. Jesus Christ will give you that power. The spirit of burning, the fire is coming. Oh, here the fire is burning, burning, burning. Whatever you want to leave, Jesus Christ will help you. He will burn and you will save. 
Oh, as uh, Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27, beautiful verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27 says, uh, Oh, I subject my body. I discipline my body as an athlete, uh, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself be disqualified. He said, I discipline my body. That's the discipline, discipline power Jesus Christ is giving you by the fire, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Take it, take it, take it. Fire is filling your heart. You might be disturbed. You might not have any peace. Oh, the fire will give you peace. Because he will tell you, my son, my daughter, your future is in my secure hand, in my safe hands. You might not be knowing your future, but know this, who controls the, your future? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the controller, almighty. Leviticus chapter 6, verse 9 says, the fire, Leviticus chapter 6, verse 9 says, the fire of the altar shall be kept burning on it regularly, daily, every time, continuously. The fire, the fire of the altar, the fire in your life to do ministry, to preach the word of God with signs and wonders. He will exhibit his power. He will confirm his word with signs and wonders according to Mark chapter 16, verse 19 and 20. Jesus ascended into heaven and has sat down at the right hand of God, the almighty, powerful Jehovah, and he's interceding on your behalf. Romans chapter 8, verse 34. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. Jesus Christ is interceding, praying, pleading for your blessing for your increase, for your benefit, for your healing. He's crying out. He's pleading. He is praying, sitting at the right hand of God. And Mark chapter 16 verse 20 says, and the disciples went everywhere and God confirmed his words with signs and wonders. Yes, lame will walk. Cancer will disappear. Pain will go. Oh, yes, boils will go. Yes, uh, spondylitis will disappear. Oh, blood pressure, sugar, diabetes, kidney problems. Uh, yes, headache, migraine, uh, asthma will go, will go, will disappear by the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Uh, take it, take it, take it. Uh, in Revelation, uh, you can uh, read it. Uh, our Lord Jesus has his eyes like a flame of fire. Uh, Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Oh, his eyes are like a flame of fire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him. Daniel also saw in Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. He said uh, his throne was a fiery flame. Its wheel as a burning fire. God Almighty throne has a fiery flame and its wheels burning fire. It will dissolve it will uh, dissolve every growth, uh, unnecessary growth, every uh, oh pain will disappear, will disappear by the supernatural power of Jesus Christ. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5 says, For I, says the Lord, will be a wall of fire around you. My brother, my sister, how blessed, how privileged you are in this world. You are not alone in this world. You are being surrounded by what? The fire of the Lord. As a wall of fire, Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5, I will be as a wall of fire surrounding you, my brother, surrounding you, my sister. I will be the glory in her midst. Your God is your glory. Your God is your glory. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 20, uh, 60, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 19 and 20. Your God, your glory, hallelujah. The days of your mourning shall be ended. You know, the fire of the Lord is surrounding you. And another thing is surrounding you, my brothers and sisters. What privilege, what blessed, how blessed you are. 
living in this world you are not uh, in the hands of the devil not the wicked evil crooked people no yes hallelujah you are surrounded by the fire of the lord and then psalms 32 verse 10 says you are surrounded by the mercy of the lord oh what a great privilege what a great blessing surrounded by the mercy of the lord because your god is in your midst and he is uh, your glory your god your glory isaiah chapter 60 verse 19 and 20 and uh, oh the lord will be your everlasting light and your days of sorrow mourning shall be ended take it take it take it uh, yes 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 take it take it take it say thank you jesus thank you jesus you are surrounding me with your mercy with your fire thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you father thank you father another thing that surrounds you psalms 125 verse 2 says as the mountain surrounds jerusalem so the lord himself surrounds his people now and forever more wherever you go whether you go for the ministry in the jungles unreached area no roads no electricity no street lights your god is surrounding the lord is surrounding you psalms 125 verse 2 what a privilege what a blessing he will enlighten your darkness oh he will enlighten your darkness because jesus christ is the light of the world john chapter 8 verse 12 Psalms 18 verse 28 says the Lord will enlighten my darkness shall we close our eyes in prayer thank you jesus thank you for speaking thank you for speaking lord thank you for filling every heart oh yes yes close your eyes the fire of the lord is touching you touching you touching you touching you fire 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 fall on me fire 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 fall on me on the day of pentecost fire fall on me on the day of pentecost fire fall on me power 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 fell on me power 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 fell on me on the day of pentecost fire fall on me lord jesus embrace every brother every sister let them feel your fire your fire your fire touch touch heal touch deliver them bless them prosper them in jesus precious powerful prospering protecting preserving purifying promoting name of jesus we pray amen 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 thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah amen hallelujah thank you pastor